Today I have broken down all of the possible fall aesthetics that I feel like I have some place to talk about. I have these four categories, but within those categories we have nine different aesthetics. We are going to start with the cozy fall aesthetic. First, we have Rory Gilmore Fall. I feel like this is the new popular one. This is that kind of small town, lighthearted, fun vibe. As for activities, anywhere you can walk, you will walk. Also, read a lot, but read outside. If you really want to take this next level, there is quite literally a Rory Gilmore reading list that covers every single book she's ever read. But if you're not a big reader, I'd recommend just reading a couple classics here and there or something that just piques your interest. Now, the biggest thing that I think defines Rory Gilmore is how invested she is in her small town. Either in your current town that you live in or in a small town near you, get so plugged in. Go to all of the events, volunteer at said events, go to all the small businesses, support all the small businesses, and just completely immerse yourself in the small town culture. Get studious. Rory Gilmore is a student, okay? Whether you're in middle school, high school, college, no matter where you're at, just completely jump in. And then, of course, she is a movie junkie, all right? So compile yourself all of those fun classic fall vibe movies and watch them whenever you want to chill or just do something laid back. As for outfits, obviously we have oversized sweaters or oversized sweaters with turtlenecks and then also just like turtleneck tops in general. Then we have straight boot cut or mom jeans. I feel like any one of the three of these fits with the vibe. Obviously headbands, converse, and overall just keep it cozy and comfortable. Then there's Lorelai Gilmore which Honestly, copy and paste the vibes and activities, but the style is going to be different. For her, I honestly think it's a lot less baggy, more fitted. So she's also wearing sweaters and turtlenecks all the time, but they're fitted. Also, she wears this leather jacket. I feel like she wears it in a lot of scenes. That totally has Lorelai written all over it. Then the last one from the cozy section, and that is going to be academia fall. The vibes are the dark, gloomy, rainy days. Academia lives for that. These activities are going to include going to bookstores and also reading a lot of classics. Think long walks, listening to podcasts. I don't know why, but when I think of academia, I think of them collecting nature. So if you're into pressing leaves and all of that, to me, that's a very academia thing to do. Also, just taking pictures of nature. Outfits, your typical academia, sweaters, collars, mini skirts, but like straight mini skirts, not flare, as well as loafers and Doc Martens. Overall, just very cozy, studious, and a lot of neutrals. Next, we are moving into light fall, where we have two aesthetics. First is coquette fall. These coquette vibes are very cozy, but also very like delicate and feminine. Stuff that might be on their bucket list definitely is romanticizing everything. They're also probably going to be doing a lot of introspective journaling and diary keeping. They're probably going to write cute letters. I also see them baking like cute little pumpkin pastries and very like fall-esque baked goods. I also see a lot of warm seasonal drinks while going on scenic drives. Then, of course, they're going to be wearing bows in their hair. I feel like that's very signature. I feel like around fall, like, black silk bows in the hair looks really nice. And then I also see girly, delicate tops and sweaters, a lot of whites, creams, and blushes. Pops of red, according to New York Fashion Week, is going to be the thing this fall. I like how it's very simple and you can very easily make a capsule wardrobe out of the aesthetic. Next, which I think is fairly similar, is the cottage core, but it's cozy, more slow, and intentional. Just taking your time to enjoy the present moment at all times. As for activities, I think of all the aesthetics, these people are going to be embracing hygge more and focusing on maybe reducing screen time and doing board games, card games, I see lots of baked goods, even like apple picking and then making like apple pie or something. Trips to the farmer's market, I see biking, and I see a lot of picnics, but like in cozy sweaters. For outfits, I feel like everyone knows the cottagecore aesthetic at this point, um, but I definitely see 
overalls being much more of like a cottage core thing and pretty much just oversized everything definitely emphasis on comfort over anything else and on to the more basic but fun this is where i find myself mostly and i feel like a lot of you will find yourself i have three different aesthetics in here first we have granola girl granola girls are very adventure driven totally drawn towards all things nature getting active and getting outside during the season obviously they're gonna go hiking go on scenic drives and they're gonna do pretty much anything on the bucket list that involves getting outdoors bike rides walks picnics apple picking, pumpkin picking, they're going to be doing all of it. And that's how I really aspire to be. I love the outfits of Granola Girls. They have the cutest warm layers because they're outside in the cold a lot, okay? They kind of have to. They have the cute north faces, they have Sherpas, they have shackets, and they know how to layer well. Also, the Carhartt beanies, that's a big one. I almost forgot the Carhartt beanies. That's like a staple. Now going into that girl fall version that girls are definitely very much focused on mental emotional and physical growth they're going on autumn girl walks they're listening to red taylor's version they're also just crushing their yearly goals as for what they're wearing i don't think it's going to change that much i still think we're going to see a lot of active wear sets but make them more weather appropriate so we're going to see like athletic jackets maybe some athletic hoodies and sweat sets and now for fall girl fall which i think i think this one is me it is kind of a mix of granola girl and that girl fall and the vibes are just happy fall everything that fall encompasses they will do they're the crazy chicks who have a bucket list of a hundred plus items they are going to be thrifting they're going to drive in movies they're doing pumpkin picking they're doing apple picking they're doing all of it and it is their goal to just do all the fall things in fall as for outfits i think that it's pretty much a mix of every single aesthetic that I've mentioned during this video. As for the one that I think is very unique and it sticks out and I don't see much overlap except for maybe a fall girl fall will adapt this one as well and that is Halloween girl aesthetic. Y'all are a different breed. It's wild. Y'all treat Halloween at the same level and respect that most people treat Christmas activities you're making the killer halloween costumes you might even be hosting the halloween party of the year you are watching all of the spooky movies the childhood ones like hocus pocus and nightmare before christmas even like the horror films slasher films you guys are wearing all things black gold purple neon green and you also have the cutest graphic t-shirts and graphic sweatshirts and that is all of the aesthetics. Please comment below which aesthetic you are. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification button because I have a very exciting announcement next week and you are not going to want to miss it. And I would encourage you to check out my autumn 2023 playlist where I'm going to be putting all of my autumn vibe videos.